Welcome back to Theory Tuesday series. I'm Eloise. Today we're gonna do Time Signature Part 2. What? You wanna get a printable copy of this theory handout? Of course you can! Check out the link in the description box below. I've uploaded all the PDF files on my Patreon page. Remember, you get to access to my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to play the very famous songs such as Amazing Grace, Row Your Boats, Brown's Lullaby, Love Me Tender. Go straight and dive in. Theory Tuesday series lesson 7, Time Signature Part 2. Time signatures can be classified into two groups, regular and irregular. The regular time signatures means that top number can be divisible by 2, 3 or 4. It also means the number of beats in a bar should be either 2, 3 or 4. For example, 3, 4 means 3 quartered beats in a bar and 3 can be divided by 3. So it is a regular time signature. 12 8 time signature represents 12 quiver beats in a bar. There are 12 quivers in this bar. 12 is divisible by 2, 3 or 4. For example, I can make these 12 quivers into 4 dotted crochet beats. Hence, 12 8 is a regular time signature. Let's see how we do it. 1 dotted crochet, 2 dotted crochet, 3 dotted crochet, 4 dotted crochet. However, 5 8 time signature, there are 5 quiver beats in a bar. 5 is not divisible by 2, 3, or 4. So, 5 8 is an irregular time signature which will be covered later. Our focus is on the regular time signature for now. Regular time signature can be further classified into three groups, duple time, triple time, and quadruple time. Duple time means there are two main beats in the bar. For example, 2-4 means two crotchet beats in the bar. 2-2 two, two means to minim beats in the bar. These are duple time. A quiz for you. Can you draw four bars of 2 4 and 2 2 time signatures? 2 4 means two beats of crotchets. 1 2. I can also draw one minim because it means 1 2. I can also draw one crotchet with two quivers because two quivers make up one crochet. I can also draw four semi-quivers which represent one crochet and another crochet. That gives me four bars of two beats. Two two means two minimum beats. So I can have one, two. I can also have one, two, or one, two, or one, two. Here is a summary. Type of beats, duple time. Crotchet beat, two, four, two crotchet beats. Two, two means two minimum beats. Two, eight means Two quiver beat triple time means there are three main beats in the bar. For example, three four time signature means three crotchet beats in the bar. Three eight time signature means three quiver beats in the bar. A quiz: Can you draw four bars of three four and three eight time signature? For three four, I can have one. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. For three, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. Here's the summary of the triple time signature. Notice each time signature has a top number of three. The bottom number represents the type of beats. Four is crotchet beat, two is medium beat, eight is quiver beat. Three four means three crotchet beats. One, two, three. Three two means three medium beats. One, two, three. 3-8 means 3 quiver beats. 1, 2, 3. Quadruple time, it means 4 main beats in a bar. For example, 4-4 four, four means 4 crotchet beats in a bar. Or 4-2 means 4 meaning beats in a bar. Can you draw 4 bars of 4-4 four, four and 4-2? Four, 4-4, four, four. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's a summary for quadruple time. Quadruple time signature will have the top number of 4 in each time signature. The bottom number represents the type of beat. 4 here represents crotchet beats. 4 crotchet beats. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 meaning beats. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 quiver beats. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, I hope you have learned something. Comment below to share with me your thought. If you like this type of video, remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, click the bell button to be notified whenever a new video is up. Next Go video down. on Theory Tuesday series, we are going to do Time Signature Part 3. Alright, see you then!